So I'm having a little bit of physics fun. It's only Tuesday, but I think it's good to have physics fun every day, even if it's not Friday. So what am I looking at? Well, it's really, really simple. It's an electric field situation. So I've got a metal plate here, a metal plate here. I've got a negative connection on this one that's going to an EHT power supply and a positive is the red one that's going to the other end of the power supply. Now, I have a power supply that most schools do not have. It's 25,000 volts. So normally when people talk about an EHT, um, they have like a 5,000 volt power supply. That works for a lot of stuff, but this is what you really need for the grown up physics stuff. So it will not work with 5,000 volts. If you haven't got one, you'll just have to watch my video and enjoy it. Um, you do need 25 kilovolts. Now, if I put a potential difference across here, there'll be a region of space where there is an electric field with field lines going across like so. And the field lines go in the direction that a positive test charge would move. So it's going from this plate to this plate because the positive is pushed this way. And the candle flame is there. This is going to show the electric field and what is happening to the ions. So when you burn things, when we combust, we have ions produced and they're either positive because they have lost electrons. It's always a good thing to have less electrons or they've gained them. Now, switching on my power supply and whoa, straight away, 25,000 volts. I've got a major change in the flame. I'm going to dial it back down and we've got a lovely shape again. So zero volts and as I increase, the flame gets shorter and fatter as ions are pulled in different directions. And if I go right up again, you can see at that point, it's slightly leaning more to the negative. That's because more positive ions are produced. But actually, as I go further and further out, it's flattening more and more. And we're getting an amazing little flicker. And there we go. That is showing the electric field. And it's going on this picture right to the left, the direction a positive charge would move, a test charge. If you have enough juice effectively in there, it will put the flame out. I'm going to try something simple. Be very careful not to touch the electrodes. I'm just going to move it slightly closer and see if we get, and there we go. Because the electric field between the plates is really strong, because E, electric field strength, is V divided by D, I put the candle out. There you go. Physics fun on a Tuesday.